Hello Space Cats and welcome back to my channel. Do you know what the biggest thing in the sky is? Hmm, the sun? Nope. The moon? Actually, the correct answer is Andromeda Galaxy. This week I have a special request from Hell Vampiria to make a special on the Andromeda Galaxy. So let's jump right to it. Andromeda also goes by its official name M31. It's a bright spiral galaxy and our galactic neighbour. Together with about 40 other galaxies, they make up the group of galaxies known as the local group. Andromeda is the largest galaxy within the local group, with the Milky Way coming second. Given that it's our galactic neighbour, it's actually 2 million light years away and it spans an incredible 220 light years across, six times larger than the sun and the moon on the sky. Given that it has a magnitude of 3.4 means that we can see it with the visible eye um, from the ground, especially through some good binoculars. Andromeda lies in the constellation of Andromeda, just on the hip, and to find it we have to look for Cassiopeia, follow the second point of that W halfway across to the bright star Alpha Cats. In 1991, astronomers using the Hubble Space Telescope noticed that Andromeda had two bright peaks. I'll link the paper down below. They named these two peaks P1 and P2, but surprisingly P2, which was the dimmer of the two peaks, was actually at the centre of the galaxy. So what exactly was P1? Well, there are several explanations that could explain its existence. For example, it could be two regions of a larger structure, but just obscured by like a band of dust. It could be that P1 is a cluster of stars orbiting around P2, or P1 could be the remnant of a cannibalized galaxy that had once merged with Andromeda. To add to this mystery, later in 2005, scientists discovered a third nucleus, which they called P3. Just like in our own galaxy, in P2, Andromeda hides a supermassive black hole. And due to its proximity, it's the ideal place to study how black holes feed and how they grow. When a black hole accretes material, it will heat up its surroundings and produce high amounts of X-ray radiation. Between 1999 and 2006, NASA's Chandra X-ray Space Telescope observed Andromeda's black hole to be relatively dim in X-rays. But in 2006, all of a sudden, it became a hundred times brighter, and it's remained ten times brighter ever since. It's unclear what the black hole ate, but whatever it was, it must have been really, really big. In the central dense cluster of stars, Chandra also observed many binary X-ray sources. It's probably clear that the black hole will continue feeding our stellar winds off these stars. However, Andromeda's black hole, and also our own black hole, is incredibly weak in terms of X-ray emission. They must have no appetite. In order to understand this more, we have to study it in more detail. It was once believed that Andromeda grew as large as it is today because of all the small galaxies that it managed to devour. But in more recent simulations, in a paper that I'll link down below, it suggests that most of the material actually comes from a single galaxy, M32. M32 is a satellite galaxy orbiting around Andromeda, and likely millions of years ago it had a collision. Andromeda came out unscathed, but it stole a huge amount of material from M32. We know this because it left a trail of crumbs, a stream of stars and the dwarf compact galaxy that we know today as M32. We can't really see or study Andromeda's spiral arm structure because we're viewing it pretty much edge on, but there is some signs of distortions which are likely due to mergers of galaxies which have once collided with Andromeda. 
In 1998, ESA's ISO mission showed that Andromeda was slowly transitioning into a ring galaxy. This ring region is a birthing ground for new stars, and it contained a high amount of very, very cold um, gas down to minus 260 degrees Celsius and lots and lots of dust, which can only be seen in the infrared. This ring structure inside really lacked any dust or star formation. And one theory is that when M32 collided with Andromeda, that it blasted through the spiral structure. However, later, combining with data from Spitzer Telescope, there seems to be some evidence of two spiral arms and a central bar. Andromeda devoured the Milky Way's twin, M32, and we are next. Andromeda is on a collision course with the Milky Way, traveling at about 110 kilometers per second. In four billion years or so, we will end up just like M32, a small fuzzy blob. Luckily, however, because the stars are so far apart from each other, in event of any collision, it's likely that the Earth will survive unaffected. However, our night skies will be completely transformed. There is a small chance, however, that the solar system that we live in gets flung out of our galaxy into deep space, in which case our sun will become what is known as a rogue star. Andromeda is probably the best model we have for understanding the evolution of galaxies, including our own. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you want me to talk about next. And in the meanwhile, I'd really, really appreciate it if you give me a like, share, and subscribe.